We'll have him join us over here. You're not supposed to stop and pick up the flag over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Congrats, Nick Moore, man. Thanks. Awesome performance. We had you in victory lane here for a normal Saturday night show, but that was not nearly as dominant as tonight. I mean, I can say without a shadow of a doubt, there was not one super stock on the grounds this evening that cornered as well as this 17 car did. Well, the 72 was working pretty good too, but he tried to win it on the first five laps. We've seen how that worked out. But uh, yeah, I was, I was pretty happy with the car. It really fell off at the end, but uh, a lot of other cars, I guess, did too. It was probably just the racetracks. You had a, a great start, and it seemed as though right from there, I mean, once you were able to seize that lead, there was there was no looking back. Uh, is this the same setup you came up through through qualifying with? Did you touch this car at all through intermission? Um, lately, I've uh, I've been pretty good in hot laps, and I uh, try to tweak on it, and I just go backwards. So tonight, I just said I'm not touching the thing, and it worked out for us. So it worked out beautifully. Now, one thing that we hear from visiting drivers is they, they love running at Sunset, but it's tough to get a hang of you know how to run this track and how to attack it properly. You brace at a lot of different speedways. Sunset in particular, is it, is it, does it give an advantage to the guys that are here every Saturday uh, as opposed to some of the, the tougher uh, visiting drivers on these Wednesday shows? I say absolutely. It's a, uh, it's a really technical car uh, track to drive. If you just, if you just miss it by a little bit, you can really hurt your laps. So definitely it's an advantage racing here every week. Now it sounds that you, you, were, you were telling guys you weren't happy with this car for the final 15 laps. Were you not aware of, of how big of a lead you actually had over Sean Chetto? No, I, uh, I had no idea. I always, uh, I turned my mirror just so I could see who's out the right side door, and uh, then I just drive. I, I can't see who's behind me, so I don't worry about it then. So I just kept driving. I guess the lead was pretty good, apparently. So phenomenal run now. I, I talked to Mike Bentley previously in the late model win about uh, how much this is going to set the tone for him on Saturday night, and, and you're leading the points in the Super Stock Division. You have been for almost the entire season. Once we start winding down, I mean, we got four or five weeks to go. Are you really starting to think about the championship in the Super Stock class? Danny, um, I'm not really much of a championship points racer. I just try to win every day. That's all I'm shooting for. And where we end up, we end up. So let the let the wins take care of everything, and then the points will sort themselves out, eh? That's right. <laughs> Go ahead and thank some people for me there. Well, I got to thank uh, for sure my crew with me here tonight, uh, Ted, Josh, and my dad. And uh, I wouldn't be able to do it without them. And Irwin, who uh, couldn't make it tonight. But uh, and I gotta thank uh, JR Auto Service and uh, Severn Cottage Services for all their support. Huge run tonight, man. Congratulations. Second win on the season here at Sunset. First and 50 lap competition. Have a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Representing Sunset Speedway, Carver 17. It's Nick 